All right, y'all. Now we're to the camshaft seal. So we're doing the entire timing belt. Took the valve cover off. Before we remove the valve cover, we took off what's called the third timing belt cover. And that goes right back there. It's a series of four bolts. If you're doing your timing belt and you have the valve cover off, it's a lot easier to replace the camshaft seal. You simply remove these two 10 millimeter bolts, take off this bearing cap, replace the seal, put it back in. Now, the crankshaft seal, that's how we removed it, with a screw. We drilled a hole into the seal because behind the seal is a metal plate right there, ring. We drilled a hole into it and put a screw in there, a hex screw, and we're able to pull it out with, you know, like cat's paw, nail puller type thing. We can't do that here because look at the room we have. We're going to just remove those two bolts and replace the seal, which will be a lot easier than anything else. 10 millimeter, we're just using a 3 8 ratchet. Do you know the foot pounds? 14 foot pounds. We're just keeping our bolts oriented. All right, y'all, we're gonna use a, this is a punch of some sort, very long one. We're going to use this flat metal surface with a hammer to try to loosen that bearing cap. I can see it already moved. So. Okay, that moved it. I'm gonna see if it just takes it off. No, it doesn't. All right, y'all, we're going to take a 5-in-1 tool. Here's what it is. They're very useful. We're going to put some blue tape at the end of it. And we're going to use that to pry right this, right there in that area. Boop, right there, because she's come loose. Now we have to pry her up just a bit. And we're putting the blue tape on so we don't scratch or harm the surface of that bearing cap. Oh, that's what it looks like. A little oil port. Pretty cool. See that little oil port right there that appears to send it right whoop there on that little shoot. that whole surface right there. Isn't that cool? That's what's under the bearing cap that we took off. And note that on either side of that intake camshaft on that side and on the opposite side, same area, there's no sealant. We're just going to remove and replace the seal. All right, y'all, we're going to take that uh, camshaft seal out now. Slides right out. There you go. Let's show the fine people what it looks like. See that, y'all? It has a thin metal band in between that seal there on the back. That's what you'd be screwing into if you choose to screw into it. All right, y'all, I'm just taking paper towel. It has denatured alcohol on it, and I'm putting a Q-tip in there and clean the surface, the race area of that seal right there. You want that clean before you put the new seal in. All right, y'all, we're ready to put the seal in. What we're using to lubricate the lip, what Toyota calls the lip, which is right on the inside, of this seal. We're going to use this Toyota grease. It's called Toyota Pink Grease 08887-01206. If you have a Toyota, we really advise you having some on hand. But that grease 
is what came on the crankshaft seal we got from Toyota. They're pink grease. So we're going to put that on the inside of that camshaft seal. And we put the amount that they had on the crank. It's a generous amount. So per the Toyota manual and a Toyota mechanic, you do not put any sort of lubrication or sealant on the outside of that seal, just the inside there. That's how much pink Toyota grease we used right there. Okay, we're gonna put that seal on now. This is what she looks like, y'all. That's how flush she gets. We're gonna clean the grease off. All right, y'all, we're gonna put the bearing cap on now. And that calls for, on the torque specs, 14 foot-pounds. We're going to use an inch-pound torque wrench. We've converted that to inch-pounds. So 14 foot-pounds converted to inch-pounds is 168. All you do is 14 times 12. seal y'all that's what you're looking for y'all see the difference between this bearing cap finish and the cylinder head finish right there again 14 foot pounds if you're using an inch pound torque it's 168 inch pounds tighten them evenly folks Not a loud click, it's very light. That's it. Now it's time to put the valve cover back on. If you all want to see how we removed the camshaft pulley bolt before we took off the timing belt, there's a video on that too. We're also going to use the same technique to tighten the bolt on the pulley once we put everything back together and we're finishing the timing belt. So that is how we replace a camshaft seal in a 1995 Toyota Camry 5SFE engine. We hope it helps, and happy DIYing.